So last time I experimented with sort of creating three different pages on the web server but they weren't really pages they were just one page template and depending on what you type after the IP address it displays different things. On a full-blown web server one of the ways that you can create a website is by putting HTML pages in uh, HTML being like this and also putting um, some styles in as well and you do those with style sheets CSS files castigating style sheets and the idea is that you have the HTML which has got the content of the page and then the style sheet makes it look funky so what I want this to do is get it to serve an external style sheet in a similar way to the way it serves this HTML it's not as if this web server is looking on its flash memory and looking for different pages. So I've got to somehow hack this server code so that if it gets a request for a style sheet, it automatically downloads it for me. So to start, I'm going to create a style sheet. So I'm going to grab this uh, here and create it in a, in a similar way. Uh, let's just paste that in and let's call it CSS and with css you can style each of these little bits so what i want to do is style the body to do that i start off by typing body and then whatever you put in here is a style to apply to the body so the body i want it to go back ground background color and set it i could set it to red but i'm going to set it to black and because i've set that to black i might not be able to see the text that's on it so at least for this heading I'm going to set so that the heading is h1 well we can ignore this sm thing let's just delete that that's from a previous experiment so this h1 here I can say as another style sheet command I can do h1 um, and say the color of that is well let's say coral I think that's a uh, a color okay so what that will do is that will make that color that make the background black and make that the coral color which is oh i'm not very good in color theory so that's what i want the css file to do anyway but i've also got to tell the html page that there's css in it so let me just paste something in there to link the style sheet to it so let's just paste a style sheet in there and we'll just call it we'll just call it style.css all right now at the moment this isn't doing anything it should just stored in a variable but if i save this as long as i've not done any titles if i run it again and watch what happens at the bottom of the screen if i refresh that you'll see as well as this fav icon we spoke about in the last video it's also now trying to get this style.css so what it does first of all the browser reads this bit and it looks at that and says right i need something else called style.css but pico doesn't know any different about that so we've now got to say to the pico if you get this style css requested then send something different from this html page this is what we're going to send so let's go down and look at how they've done it here we'll take something like this here and we need to serve something different if you see that there that is what sets the HTML and the state is bit. Now this is going to be a bit of a messy code here. I'm just going to paste this in. Actually, we don't need to worry about any of that at the moment. So I'll just do that and I'll say that this is CS requested. And I need to add something here to look for that CSS on the line, on the request line. So if we look when we make a request, you can see here it says get something then get style get a fav icon if i try and move this it says gets light on get light off so it adds that to that request so what we've got to do is look for style.css in that fact actually i've just noticed a little error i have to put one of those in front of it but that's fine we'll come back to that in a second so i need to search this little variable here is searching for something on that request and so what I want it to look for is that style.css. So if I set style.css on there, that looks for that. And if it finds it, it will be at six. So it's gone through these bit looking for that. I'm just going to leave those bits as they are at the moment. So this is a bit of redundant code. It does that before it does this bit, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So 
if CSS is six, so it's found the word CSS, then I've got to set the response to instead of HTML, I'm going to set it to CSS, which is now this variable here. So I hope that means it will serve something different. Let's just run this, make sure I've not put any typos in, right? Still connecting to the server. Let's uh, go to that bit. Whoa, some, something's gone funny now. OK, let's stop that and run it again. So is that when I try and hit the CSS that it goes belly up? Yes, it is. All right. So um, and try and serve the page now. And there you go. So it worked. So I had a little bit of an issue because I'd called this CSS here and I was also down here. I was setting that variable to CSS, which was a number. And then when I was adding that response and that a number there, it was breaking. So the extra things that I've added to this is that because this was a CSS file, I had to change this content type. It's actually called the MIME type, M-I-M-E type. And a normal HTML page is going to have HTML like that. And a CSS has got to have CSS there. If I don't put that there, HTML, and restart the server you'll see that it doesn't style and that's because even though the file if i um request the style sheet and it's called style css if i request the style sheet it comes through but it doesn't treat it like a style sheet it just treats it as another text file so if i change that to css and this is why i couldn't get it working before if i change that to css there and run it this will now apply the style to the page. So that's how to serve a CSS file. So I added it to a variable, making sure I named it correctly. And then I created another variable here, which was like these looking for, basically looking for a, a string in the path to see whether that was selected. If it was selected, instead of sending the HTML response, I added that CSS string to the response and then I had to write out first the headers which had this text CSS mime type in and then sent the response and then this bit here was further down there before because it always used to send an HTML. So a bit long winded to run it. It's again not as good as I said of having a file a system on here which you serve pages from or serve files from on the web server but that's another way of hacking this demo web server to get a css file generated to be able to style your page in a better way obviously this is a rubbish way to style it but it might be interesting changing this so uh, we use some css styles to put some nice buttons there instead of the text that's on there anyway so if you enjoyed watching me doing this and you want to see some more, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Bye.